Oh, quick and easy meals. How do you make quick and easy meals with the second major question? And don't forget, you're, you're not following, you know, I don't want you to be following a meal plan. You could use the meal plans to get ideas and to give you um, recipes and to give you, a, but I, I want you to have this in your head right now to start to understand it so you don't need a meal plan. And the structure, and you don't need this, all the meals, you can eat this very simply, very inexpensively, very quick and easy, because the lunch is the salad is the main dish. Now, what is it? A salad is just some dressing. So all you had to do was make a salad dressing on the weekend or make a salad dressing on Saturday nights and Wednesday nights and eat the same salad dressing for three days. There's no big thing. You take a vegetable bean soup, which you made one big pot on the weekend. And you have some of that soup you made on the weekend with some with the soup and a piece of fruit or some frozen fruit. And that's your dessert. Your main meal is so easy. You just made a salad dressing. If I have no time to make a salad dressing, I take a teaspoon of almond butter and some tomato sauce and some um, black fig vinegar or balsamic vinegar. And I mash those three things together with a fork and I toss it in the salad. Or I take a navel orange and peel an orange or take out some frozen fruit out of the refrigerator, blueberries, it could be an orange, blueberry, frozen mango, anything. And just throw a handful of walnuts in there and put a little bit of vinegar. I could put the apple cider vinegar on. I could put the blood orange vinegar on. I can put the, you know, usually orange with blood orange vinegar and some, you know, and a few, and a few nuts in there. Hemp seeds are, and we're always using hemp seeds and walnuts because those are the highest omega-3 nuts. But if you want some other nuts to add flavor, light, lightly toasted sesame seeds, lightly toasted almonds, some cashews, you can add those things to it. You just make, you just make a salad dressing, either a fruit-based dressing, a tomato-based dressing, or a savory dressing, which you've learned the recipes. And that's it. It's, it's simple. And then what's – this is quick. This is a quick and easy diet. What's breakfast? You take some flax seeds ground chia seeds or hemp seeds in a little bowl with a, with a cup of fruit and some plant milk on top. If you want to put a couple of teaspoons, a couple of, I mean, a couple of tablespoons of oats or either soak or cook quinoa or raw oats on top, just let it sit there for five minutes to soften. There's no, it, it's just the quickest and easiest diet where you just have some melon and some fruit in the morning with a handful of nuts, a handful of one. It's the simplest, this is a very simple diet. You don't have to make the fancy food. And dinner then starts out with raw vegetables with a dip. Or raw, or and and a cooked vegetable dish, which is, which we know we're trying to put in mushrooms, and cabbage or broccoli or something cruciferous cooked bok choy, cabbage, broccoli, kale. You know, so usually we're making a wok with with um we could put snow pea pods in there too, and some sliced onion and mushrooms in the wok. Or you could blanch vegetables by dipping them in water for ninety seconds, or you could like broccoli and or you could just steam some vegetables. My favorite is steamed artichokes. One of my favorite foods, I like to eat a lot of those. But you're making, you're just putting some vegetables in a wok and putting a, a tablespoon of water in there and walking it in water, whatever vegetables you put in there. And then you pick a sauce. It could be in a jar. You could take the, our Thai curry sauce, put it on top of your whole meal is done. Or you can make your own sauce by following a recipe that you see you have advantage to. When you make a sauce and the sauce that you make or the recipe you make, make enough for a few nights. This is so easy and simple to do. And when you start eating your dinner meal, you take out some fruit out of the freezer, some frozen mixed berries, some frozen drac fruit, some frozen mango, some frozen dark cherries, some frozen blueberries, from frozen strawberries. You take some frozen fruit out. By the time you get to finish the meal, 20 minutes later, the frozen fruit will be half the frosted and it'll taste like a little like ice cream. It'll start to soften and it'll be really delicious. Or you'll pick a, a fresh fruit you like in season. And this is the simplest, easiest way to, and you can fit it into your schedule. It's so easy to do. And the more you do it, the more your taste buds get stronger and your taste muscle gets stronger. Because when you stop eating heavily sweetened substances, your ability to taste sweet is enhanced. And when you stop eating heavily salted things, the natural flavors of vegetables start to perk up and blossom. And when you stop eating heavily spicy food, then you develop a, more, a range of more ability to taste different subtle savory flavors in your mouth and your tongue. So eating food that's too spicy, too salty, and too sweet has deadened your tastes so you can't enjoy the flavor of natural food. So a cashew nut doesn't have a vanilla, you know, creamy vanilla flavor to it. And a, an avocado has no strong um, essence and flavor. And asparagus and zucchini don't taste that good. And lettuce doesn't taste, you know. So in other words, nothing has any taste because you've, you've, you're following the way other people eat.